show you how to make Creative Kiwi's free in the hoop lace zipper bag and for that I'm using my 5x7 hoop I'm using wash away stabilizer rather than tear away because I don't use tear away I've got my thread, bobbin, squizzers, masking tape and my fabrics and um, batting cut to size and my lace zipper. You're going to start off by hooping your stabiliser so place it over your outer hoop and then insert the inner hoop on top and I like to pin my stabiliser around the top of my hoop so I take a pin place it on top of my flat on top of my hoop, push it through the stabiliser and then bring it back through and my pin now sits neatly on top of my hoop and it stops my stabiliser being pulled down during stitching and I do that on all four sides. Load your file into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your fabric and zipper placement outline. You've now got three lines. The one in the middle is what you're going to line up uh, your zip to. The one on the left here will be for the bottom fabric and batting and this one here will be for the top and I'm going to turn this around so that I can see what I'm doing. I've got my fabric, it's the smallest piece, um, it's pressed in two, I've got my batting sandwiched in between and I'm just going to push that up a little bit, fold that over and the crease is going to go over this stitch line here just slightly towards the center stitch line so like so and then you're going to tape it in place so that it doesn't move you're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to stitch directly on top of the stitch line underneath this fabric to secure it. You're now going to stitch round number three and that's going to secure the rest of this fabric. You're now going to do exactly the same with the uh, bottom fabric. So I'm going to turn this round and once again I've got my batting sandwiched in between the, the folds of the fabric and you're going to line it up this time just by crossing this stitch line here and then taping it in place. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to secure it. Once again it will stitch directly on top of the stitch line that, that's actually underneath your fabric. If you're happy with the placement you can now go ahead and stitch round number five and that's going to stitch the rest of the fabric down. We're now going to position our zipper. Right, so I'm going to just turn this around a minute. Place it over, you want the center of your zip running along the, the center line there, center stitch line. And when you're happy it does you can tape it in place. Make sure any metal pieces are completely out of the way of your stitch for your stitching. And then I'm going to line this one up and stitch this one down as well. I'm just going to turn this around so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. We're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number six and that's going to secure the left hand side of the zip 
and then afterwards we'll be stitching um, round number seven and that will secure the right hand side of the zip. So first off left hand side round number six. Now the right hand side round number seven. We come to the most important part of this project now. So I'm going to turn this round. You must open your zipper. If you don't, you're not going to be able to turn it out the right way. So don't forget this bit. So open your zipper up. Make sure that any metal pieces clear this uh, stitch line around the edge here. And I'm just going to place mine down like that. You're now going to place your backing fabric wrong side down so the two right sides will be together over this outline here and if like me you're going to add batting to the back as well you can place your batting on top and then tape it in place. We're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number eight and that's going to secure the backing fabric and my batting of course to the hoop. You're now going to add the back lining so turn your hoop over and you're going to place your fabric face down over the outline and then you're going to tape it in place. You can now pop that back into your machine and stitch the final round which is round number nine and that's going to stitch most of the way round but leave a gap for turning. You're now going to free this from the hoop. I've removed all tape and my hooping pins from my hoop. And you're now going to separate the two halves and we're now going to trim this up. Now here there is a gap and I like to cut my fabric so that I leave um, I suppose a tongue if you like. That way I can tuck it in easily when it comes to stitching it up. So I'm just going to chop this bit of stabilizer off so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to cut down and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So there's about a quarter of an inch there between where I stopped cutting and the stitching and the same for here and now I can cut all the way round straight through the zip Now I'm going to notch the corners and that way it folds and, and the corners stay really neat. turn this out the right way I'm 
can go any further we have to open up the zip and I'm going to remove the majority of this uh, wash away stabilizer I can go around afterwards with warm water to remain to remove any remaining after that I've got my scissors and taking care not to cut my fabrics I'm going to snip through and make a hole and then I'm going to go through the second layer now you can cut through this middle stitch line here which was your zip placement line nicely if you've got tear away you tear you simply tear all this away now I haven't I've got wash away so I'm just going to cut it but taking care not to cut my fabric of course the same with the top here go around here with some warm water and a cotton bud and dissolve any remaining um, wash away stabilizer so just dip it in and then go around the edges anywhere where there's a wash away stabilizer All it remains for me to do now is to tuck these in and I like to hand stitch mine it takes me all of two minutes I don't bother with the machine because by the time I've got it out I've uh, I've stitched it all up so I just fold those in and then I either whip stitch or ladder stitch along here and that becomes invisible and now I can do the last turn and I'm going to give it a press and that's my bag pressed and finished now just open it up so that you can see the seams no ugly seams in there anywhere I hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help, support and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. Mm -hmm.